Hi everyone. Let's see how can we build a fun website and bring it online without knowing anything but an okay level of English. I'm not a native English speaker. I am not good really with JavaScript, but let's see how it goes. So I start by adding a color picker. And what I'm using is the new codex platform. So cool, I can already pick a color and then the next instruction will be to draw a circle where I click with the mouse. Let's see if that works. Uh, yeah, it does work. Let's see if I can change a color and keep doing that. All right. That's a very exciting website for somebody with uh, my front end skills. So I have now clicked download and the next thing that I'm going to do is move the file from downloads generated HTML HTML into a folder that I will create. So first thing I'll do is actually create the folder and let's call that colored circles and I'll move into that folder, change directory to it, yeah. And then I'll move that file. Slash downloads generated html.html into index.html. That's probably the one thing to be aware of that you need this file to be in that folder that you're going to link to your GitHub pages, which is also the GitHub repo, and it has to be named index.html. I'm going to call it with the same name, colored circles. And I'll add the description and everything in a second. So for now, I'm just following the instructions here. One, two, I can do those two together. Then I'm going to also add this file, the index.html. Index.html. And then I'm going to make a commit, git commit minus n, initial commit, and then git branch. Why type when you can copy? Less confusion. And this and this. All right. Good. This is now done. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go in here to be sure that I have the file. Yeah, I can see that I have it there. I'm going to go into the settings and to pages. And I'm going to choose the main branch, which is the only one that I have. I'm not going to change this because I don't have any folder really there. And I'm going to click save. And then it says that my site is ready to be published here. Now this takes a few seconds or a few moments. So quick sip of water. So we refreshed and let's see if that works now. <gasps> Look at that. I have dots and I can change the color and click on it there. And now it's making dots in all the colors, just like in the app that we saw. And all I needed for that is two lines of code or English, sorry, two lines of English and just downloading the HTML and saving that and making a GitHub pages out of it. Pretty cool. But what happens if I want to look at the code? Let's see how much of it can I understand. I'm using VS code, so it's easy for me to just click this file and click type on code dot. And yes, I trust the authors. Yes, I'm going to make this in this tab just so it's easier to look. And there it is. And let's look at the file. So I don't know JavaScript as I already mentioned. Let's see what happens here if I just gonna highlight this and I'm going to take the code to 
the Discord server of stenography and have it explain to me what's happening here. The code creates an input element and sets its type to color and the input is then appended to the body of the document. Coolio. To recap what we saw today, we wrote two lines of English. One, create a color picker. Two, um, make circles everywhere I click in the mouse. And then download that HTML, put that into a folder. Link that folder to a GitHub repository and publish that via GitHub pages. And voila, we have a website. And if we were curious to dive into the code and understand it, we used a little bit of stenography. See you.